Championship round for 2004, the Big Pond Grand Finale at Eastern Creek. Now, a little later at 6 p.m., Network 10 will bring you a rare primetime special. The first of the three scheduled races will be live on your home of motorsport this evening. But in this hour, it'll be the top 10 shootout. We come here with three drivers still in contention for the title. Marcus Ambrose, of course, is in the box seat with Greg Murphy and Jason Bright waiting, hoping to pounce. It's been a thrilling ride, too. Ambrose was cruising towards his second consecutive championship win in race three at Simmons Plains just three weeks ago before an engine failure saw him limping out, handing the round win to his teammate, Russell Eagle. But also significant for the championship was the controversy over the actual result in race three. Jason Bright, Mark Scaife and David Bernard made clever pit stops while a safety car was being deployed. They effectively gained a lap on the field. This caused confusion in race control, with stewards figuring the timing must be wrong. The three drivers were told to fall back to the rear of the field. Now, about a week later, it was confirmed that the timing was indeed correct, and Bernard was awarded the race from Bright and Scaife. It didn't affect the round result, but Bright's reinstatement meant that he would still be in championship contention here at Eastern Creek. Doesn't make a huge difference to Ambrose, though. He still needs only to finish in the top 15 in any of the three races to finish the job. We welcome now Neil Crompton with the latest word on the three contenders. Bill, the three contenders have had a mixed weekend so far. In the very first practice session, Marcus Ambrose, in semi-wet conditions, made a big mistake right here at Turn 1. At just over 200 kilometres an hour, he got the right rear tyre in the wet stuff. He slipped across the grass and he hit the wall, did a lot of damage. It wasn't the way to start the weekend, but he has got pace. At Kmart Racing, Greg Murphy, well, it's been a tough weekend so far for him. He's qualified down in 22nd position, and he and his engineer, Eric Pender, have really got a battle on their hands. But don't forget, they qualified 33rd at Winton. They recovered for fifth. And a poor wheel racing, Jason Bright and his engineer, Phil P. Well, they've had a pretty quiet weekend. P1 in practice two. They qualified fourth. They're the quiet achievers. We'll keep an eye on them. Marcus Ambrose right now has one hand on the title and he wants to put it beyond doubt in the opening race this evening. The best way to do that is to finish 15th or better. But the champion team and the champion driver have been put to the test since they arrived here at Eastern Creek. That off at 200 plus kilometres an hour at Turn 1. It could have rattled this cage. A bit of damage to that car too. In the right rear quarter, they needed a new rear window and a rear bumper on that car. But significantly, no chassis damage to the car and nothing in the area of geometry was affected around the differential, etc. Marcus responded the best possible way. Fastest in opening practice, second fastest in the second practice session, and second in qualifying. He wants to become the first four driver since Dick Johnson in the 1980s to win back-to-back -back titles. Daz? This circuit continues to be a bogey track for Greg Murphy and a bid to take the fight to Ambrose in the championship this weekend. He has changed cars once again. He'll be driving the Bathurst winning car, which is the same one Rick Kelly has campaigned throughout most this season. When they were last here in April, he qualified 12th. Today, 10 positions down in 22nd and outside the shootout. The rain opened up in that April round and it saved him a bit with a car that struggled terribly in the dry. That luck could come most way this weekend as there's forecast for showers. And when we come back, 10 drivers vying for pole position here at Eastern Creek. Stay with us. <laughs> 